right, so I'm up here in the mountains and uh, doing some wintertime scouting. It's a great time to get out in the woods and look around, especially we got still got snow on the ground, and the snow tells all. You, you can follow the tracks. You can see where a deer have been bedding and what they've been feeding on. And uh, something I do that really makes a big difference walking in these mountains in the snow, I'm going to show you. I got these cleats. They're snow cleats. They go on your shoes. And I'm going to tell you what, they make a huge difference slipping and sliding around. And uh, they're pretty simple to put on. There's my shoe. And you, you slide it on. It's got rubber. And there you go. Gives you a lot of traction. Got sharp little points and the chains. So I'm going to put these on my shoes and we're going to head up here in this mountain. I'm going to walk up. I don't know if you can see behind me up this ridge. There's a, a big laurel thicket and a saddle, a mountain saddle right there. And I've been wanting to check this place out. And the nice thing about late season, after you finished hunting, is you can just go through there as fast as you want. You don't have to be careful. We don't really care if we bust any deer and, and scare them out because we're not going to be hunting them until next October. So it's a great time to get this done. A lot of times, what I find now puts me on a deer next fall. And that's what I'm hoping for. Another rub. Now that is a good trail. Look at that right there. They've been all up and down through here. It is.
Look at that, that's a big rub. Probably a big buck did that. Those are big tracks too. So yeah, there's a lot of honeysuckle in here. That's a good winter food. Yeah, they've been browsing that. Alright, so I'm back in here in the uh, Jefferson National Forest again this morning, um, doing some more scouting. And um, I had scouted this area back up in here about two weeks ago while we still had snow on the ground. Saw a lot of deer, saw some good sign, and um, went in there and marked my map uh, with the deer sightings and actually picked out some potential stand sites. Um, had to ride the bike up in here this morning. The, the road coming in here to the National Forest is closed about six miles down the mountain. So got a good little workout coming up in here. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm pretty much finished scouting this area now and I'm really happy with what I saw. Uh, I did see one really good buck and a lot of sign of, of some other bucks. And um, so now what I'll do is I'll wait until end of next summer and I'll come back in and analyze the food sources there's a lot of oaks white oaks and red oaks and so hopefully they'll produce and uh, then I can finalize my plan to go in here and try to ambush a buck so here is a picture of my onyx map that I marked while I was scouting these red waypoints here indicate where I spotted deer and so when you mark that that way and then you come back and look at it you can help 
put together a pattern and so this yellow circled area is the bedding area that I found over here is where I spotted some turkeys so I'll mark that so after looking at the deer sightings and studying the bedding area I have located these three potential tree stand sites and mark those and these are placed in such a way to take advantage of different wind conditions and they're all on trails that lead in or out of the bedding area.